Okay, in this example, we're told we have water flowing at 10 liters per minute through this horizontal 15 millimeter diameter tube. So this is actually a tube with the stated diameter. And the pressure drop along uh, 20 meter length of this tube is 85 kilopascals. So this is 20 meters long. We'll call that L. And we're asked to find the head loss over this distance in meters. So this will be an extended Bernoulli equation problem. So let's identify some two locations. We'll call this location 1 and this location 2 at the outlet. And we'll write the extended Bernoulli equation between those points. So let's write that out. So here's the extended Bernoulli equation. The three dots here just means it's the same thing as I've written here, just evaluated at point one. Okay, I just do that as a shortcut so I don't have to write as much. Now we're told that the pressure drop along the length is 85 kilopascals. So what that means is that the pressure drop, so P2 minus P1 is going to be, um, we'll call that delta P, and that'll be minus 85 kilopascals. The pressure is dropping. Pressure over here is lower than the pressure here because the pressure is what pushes the fluid through the pipe. So this pressure at one has to be higher than the pressure at two. And so that's why we have a negative here when it's P2 minus P1, it's negative 85 kilopascals. Okay, let's continue to write things down. So uh, the next term I'll write down Z2 minus Z1, that's just zero because it's a horizontal pipe. The shaft head from one to two will be zero because there's no fluid machinery between these points. You know, there's no pump or turbine or anything like that between those points, so that's why the shaft head is zero. We're trying to calculate the head loss, so that's a, that's a question mark. We'll put that over here as a question mark because that's what we're trying to find. And then we can evaluate the, um, the, the velocity head terms. Let me write these down. Uh, these I'm setting equal to one another because um, the pipe has a constant diameter and it'll be the uh, constant mass flow rate through here. So that if the mass flow rate is the same at 1 and 2 and the diameter is the same at 1 and 2, then it means the average velocities will be the same. And then I'm assuming that alpha 1, the kinetic energy correction factor, that, I'm sorry, alpha 2 and alpha 1 are also the same. Um, in fact, we can we don't even have to assume about the alphas. If we calculate the Reynolds number, you'll find let, let me write this down. If you write the Reynolds number at each location, and the Reynolds number is the average velocity times the diameter divided by the kinematic viscosity. The velocity is just the volumetric flow rate divided by pi over four d squared. So I could substitute that in. So the Reynolds number would be, let's see, that'll be q. 4 times q all over pi times d. Once I substitute that in, oh, and then there's a kinematic viscosity as well. And if I plug in the values for this, um, you know, I, I'm given the volumetric flow rate. I can convert that to cubic meters per second. I know the diameter of the tube. I can look up the kinematic viscosity for water. And I plug all those numbers in. What you'd get is that the Reynolds number comes out to be about 7,860. That's larger than the 2300, which is what we typically use as being the critical Reynolds number for going to turbulent flow. So that this means that the flow is indeed turbulent, which means that the alpha two and the alpha one are both about equal to one. So since the average velocities, the same at points one and two and the kinetic energy correction factors are about the same, then these will be the same. Okay, so now let's go ahead and rearrange our extended Bernoulli equation now that we have, know some information here. And we're ultimately just solving for the, eight, the head loss between 1 and 2. So this will look like the following. Um, this will be P. Let me just work out the algebra here. And I think that's it. It's just going to look like that. So this will be a minus delta P over rho G. 
And we know the delta P, right? That's given right here. So we can plug that in just right down here. Of course, the density of water is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared. So we can plug in the numbers. And you'll get the head loss between those two points comes out to be 8.66 meters. So there you go. Um, this problem again, you know, it's a, it's a, the key thing is really recognizing that it's an extended Bernoulli equation problem. And you just identify points one and two at the inlet and the outlet and then solve for the head loss. So that's all there is to it. We'll go ahead and end it there.